Ants are fascinating creatures with a complex social structure and a wide array of behaviors that serve to ensure the survival and efficiency of their colonies. Among these behaviors, one of the most intriguing is their practice of carrying away the dead. This behavior is not just a random or inexplicable act. It is rooted in the intricate social organization and the practical necessities of maintaining a healthy and functioning colony. First and foremost, the removal of dead ants from the colony is crucial for hygiene. In the densely populated environment of an ant colony, a dead ant can quickly become a breeding ground for bacteria, fungi, and other pathogens. These microorganisms can spread diseases that can potentially wipe out large portions of the colony if not promptly dealt with. By removing the dead, ants reduce the risk of infection and maintain a cleaner living space, which is essential for the health and survival of the colony. The behavior also has a chemical basis. Ants communicate and coordinate their actions through the use of pheromones, which are chemical signals that can convey a wide range of information. When an ant dies, it undergoes a chemical change that other ants can detect. Specifically, the decomposition process releases certain chemicals like oleic acid, which serve as a signal to other ants that a fellow colony member has died. These chemicals prompt the ants to pick up the dead body and carry it away from the nest. This behavior ensures that the colony remains a safe and clean environment. Moreover, the act of carrying away dead ants is a form of social immunity. Social immunity refers to the collective actions taken by a group to protect against disease and parasites. In ant colonies, this includes behaviors like grooming each other to remove pathogens, as well as the removal of dead or infected individuals. By collectively working to maintain the health of the colony, ants enhance their overall fitness and survival chances. Interestingly, the way ants handle the dead varies among species, reflecting different evolutionary strategies and ecological niches. Some ants simply carry the dead out of the nest and discard them at a distance. Others have more complex behaviors, such as burying the dead or creating a specific area, sometimes referred to as a midden, which serves as a communal waste dump. This variation underscores the adaptability of ants and their ability to evolve behaviors that best suit their environment and social structure. Another aspect to consider is the evolutionary advantage this behavior provides. Ants are social insects that live in large, cooperative colonies. Their success as a species is largely due to their ability to work together and perform specialized roles. The removal of dead ants is a specialized task that contributes to the overall efficiency and productivity of the colony. It ensures that resources are not wasted on individuals that can no longer contribute to the colony's survival and that the living members remain healthy and capable of performing their duties. Over time, natural selection has likely favored colonies that are efficient in maintaining their hygiene, leading to the widespread adoption of this behavior among ant species. In addition to the practical reasons, the behavior also has implications for the understanding of social behaviors in insects. The removal of dead ants is a clear example of altruistic behavior, where individuals perform actions that benefit the colony at a cost to themselves. The phenomenon of ants carrying the dead is also a poignant reminder of the complexity and sophistication of insect societies. Despite their small size and seemingly simple brains, Ants exhibit a high degree of social coordination and problem-solving abilities. Their ability to detect dead colony members through chemical cues and respond with appropriate actions demonstrates a level of collective intelligence that is both remarkable and humbling. The practice of ants carrying away the dead is a multifaceted behavior that serves critical functions in maintaining the health and efficiency of the colony. It is driven by the need for hygiene, the use of chemical signals, and the principles of social immunity. This behavior reflects the evolutionary advantages of cooperation and specialization in ant societies and provides valuable insights into the mechanisms of social organization in insects. Moreover, it highlights the potential for translating biological principles into practical applications in human systems. The study of ants and their behaviors continues to reveal the intricate and interconnected nature of life, offering lessons that extend far beyond the confines of the anthill. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.